Just what does it mean for to you when Aaron went out there and fought for you and Joey with those pitches early in the game? Uh, that means a lot. I think it fired up the team, fired up the boys, um, especially the first inning, you know, sitting down one, two, three, three strikeouts and, um, you know, not really getting much off of the brilliant, uh, you know, who was able to go out there, fight for us a little bit. And I think that kind of fired everybody up, you know, to put six runs up, you know, um, it's always tough as a, as a player, we want to, you know, we want to voice our opinion at times, but we also got to, you know, be smart and stay in the game. So, you know, Booney picked us up and, and did what the manager does. He has our back. You've hit some monster home runs in your career, but do you ever sit there in awe still when you see something like John Carlo hit tonight? Yeah, I think me and him both have an issue with stat cast, but you can't tell me that was that ball that he hit when 436 feet in the the dang fence out there is four hundred something feet. That ball is still rising, but uh, it's uh, it's impressive what he can do on a baseball field. Um, just all around, you know, great at bats. And then when you leave him, you know, great defender. And when you leave him a pitch over the middle, he's going to do some damage on it. So it's fun. It's been fun watching them. You know, all year do his thing, and especially these past couple of games. Thanks, Aaron. Well, you can go next to Bruce Beck. Aaron, 12 wins in a row for this ball club for the first time since 1961. Can you digest that at all? <laughs> uh, it's, it's tough to, it's pretty tough to think about, Bruce, you know, especially with, you know, the division we play in, um, you know, the best division in baseball and, you know, everywhere we go on the road, even at home, you know, it's, uh, we get teams, we get their best. And uh, I think that's just a testament to this team and what we're made of, you know, throughout the whole year we've been battling and, you know, at times things don't go our way, uh, but everybody in this clubhouse, everybody in this locker room has each other. You know, we continue to fight for each other and um, go out there expecting to win every single game. Uh, but, you know, 12, 12 in a row, that's, uh, that was a little bit of luck sprinkled in there too, I think. Do you derive as much satisfaction from a bloop single that turns out to be the game winner than you do from a prodigious homer? Yeah, they all count the same. You know, as long as I'm putting around the board, um, you know, but it goes back to, you know, the guy in front of me and the guys around me, you know, Rizzo coming up big and just getting on base and giving me a chance to, um, you know, have an at-bat there in the ninth, you know, you know T-Wade, you know, still in second and, you know, getting a chance to go to third, you know, it's putting the pressure on the, on, on them, you know, especially when he's at third base there, I think, you know, the pitcher's probably thinking, you know, I don't want to bounce someone here, you know, gives me a chance to leave some up in the zone and uh, just do my job.